Hello everybody, welcome to game number 6 of Amazon's not winning Chalice up against Necromantic, a, uh, a, a even TV match, what the hell, what the hell is this, a level 4 coach, but he's 2-0, and uh, has he won 2 concedes, he's won 1 concede, and he genuinely beat Dwarves 2-0, so there you go, uh, no skills, 2 Wolves is good because they're not really very good against me because everyone's armor 7, so... This could go all right. <laughs> Frosty. <laughs> there was nothing wrong with S Club. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't know how old they were, but they were they were fine, I'm sure. Especially Tina. Tina was the oldest, so that's definitely fine. <laughs> Definitely fine, okay. <laughs> alright, well not when we were 10. Nah, it was alright when we were 10 as well. Yeah, I'll have to watch Andor at some time. Andorans. God. <laughs> they weren't as good, weren't that young? Come on. Stop, stop, make, stop taking a perfectly innocent, fine thing and making it naughty, frosty. There's nothing wrong with it with liking S Club 7, okay? God, no. Jesus Christ, Frosty. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what? See if you can think that of me. Fucking hell. <laughs> Cause actual S Club. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Never mind. <laughs> oh, foul boy. <laughs> no, obviously, I never watched. I never watched that show either, Frosty. But that was because, yes, I wouldn't want to. But like, you know, I heard I heard S Clubs. I was probably too old to watch the S Club TV show and the S Club Seven TV shows. Out to be fair, but like I heard their songs and everything. And then like I didn't really I didn't really register that there was a TV show. I might watch an episode or two. I've got no idea if it's good or bad. Yep, good reroll burn. A blockless block! He missed the ball. <laughs> was that on purpose? <laughs> I guess it was. He's just got lots of people to defend the gal. Block. Uh, yeah, okay. Hey. 
Oh my god. This fucking shithead game. Because that was over there, I clicked on this and there was two, right, that was there and I clicked on that and it didn't click, right? It's not clicking on the thing. Fucking shit cunt of a game, honestly. Imagine being that bad a program. Hello, Leet. I have no idea what that means. I'm an ignorant Englishman. What <laughs> the <laughs> fuck am I? Hello, Jack Bull. Jack King off. One of my favourite hands in poker, just because it sounds funny. <laughs> I've got two leaks in my game in poker. One is liking Jack King off, because it sounds funny. And the other is Queen Ten suited, because... Because it's the best hand in Riley's. <laughs> and so many idiots in Riley's would overplay Queen Ten suited. Like, they literally just thought it was an amazing hand. And they would always, like, just always. So, we, we fucking. You know, there's our way to mock the idiots at Riley's was, like, Queen Ten suited. Best hand in Riley's. It was brilliant. Oh, bleeding hippie. Holy moly. Blast from the past. It's been a few blasts from the pasts. Lately. Well, Jack Bull. The thing about Amazons is there's not a whole lot of playing Blood Bowl with them. <laughs> so they take a bit of the pain away. Huge blocks here to stop me doing things. Absolute looker dog. Absolute the luckiest looker dog there ever was. What an absolute scumbag. God. <sighs> oh my fucking God. Back 
I was, I was right the first time. Perfect square, never in doubt. Did give us an easy chance, the ball shot, but the one day he got it with me. I should have posted that I was live in Discord. Yeah. I really need to get that bot that Trend's got instead of just copy pasting from the Discord every time. <laughs> it's pretty bad. No re roll left. No wee walls. No wee walls. Hello, Johnny Nyman. Oh, he's got block. Cheater. Absolute cheat. Losing block. Diced again. Nothing I could do. Yeah, I, obviously now it becomes better to try and defend the score at all, right? Because he's going to take a score in any turn now because his chance of stalling out the half has shrunk to almost zero. So now, as far as he's concerned, he wants to bang it in at all. Hello, faulty. Doing good ball like a lunatic. Oh! -ho -ho. I want to follow and then move this to where it was. Oh, no. KO'd. Lovely. Oh, do I? Yeah, I think I do. I could GF and get the assist in there. Or I could. Uh, Dodge out. And move this back here. And blitz here. It's totally fine on a push. I've got another 2D with Buck and I've got the guard there from the hip. Brilliant. That's worked out fantastically well. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, fantastic. That was obviously completely incorrect. I wanted to go all the way around, but I just didn't. But then got a Kaz. So there you go. Great. Great play. Made a Kaz. So <laughs> Get correct. off my fucking bitch. Do a four plus instead of a three plus. <laughs> Unfortunately, the, the knockdown on the flesh was pretty critical, right? Because now I'm behind the ball. He's got his potato. And he's probably going to get a score on turn five. 
very unlikely to stop him. Obviously, should be able to score back in four with three re rolls. No, new dad, because uh, playing Battle Brothers absolutely fucked me. Twitch ad revenue wise, so I, <laughs> I have been forced to play Blood Bowl 2 to uh, not be completely fucked. Diced. I don't power him on four dice, he gets back and gets the full power on two. Diced. Well, that's an interesting strategy, isn't it? Four oh, hey. Get out of it. Is he in range? Yes. So we have to just get one back for a start so that he can't stall. Is there a crazy clever play I can do here? Probably not. Need two players in here and then go there and then chain that to there. How do I get two players in there? 1D, pow, and then move them both in. Would work. Is that worth a 1D? Probably. It didn't really work, did it? Didn't really work out. Even if I powered him, it wouldn't have really done anything. Because I couldn't have uh, freed it. Completely. Got him a bit closer, I guess. Do I just take the push? No. <laughs> Very good to not just take the push. Great decision to make a Kaz instead. Um... There's a lot of value in just punching, isn't there? Just punching is like... It's going to be just correct so many times. I'd rather not free him up though for free. Yeah, no, okay, that's good. Four turns, two re-rolls. Ball and a blodger. I really want the ball on this one. Looked nice, didn't it, that chain? And then it just didn't really do anything. 
I really liked the idea of it, but then it worked and it just wasn't effective. I think it did get this one out for a 3 plus dodge. I think it might have done. I think it might have freed this one up for a 3 plus dodge. I'm not sure. I think it might have done. Yeah, I was looking to see if he could like free anybody here easily, and he couldn't. Do it. If he could have easily freed somebody, then it was probably worth freeing the wolf to lock somebody down here. It was closer, but seeing as that wasn't really a concern. He's just going to wanna wanna. One D full pal, of course he does. See, so you can auto path to here, and it does auto path to here. And it does auto path to here, but then it does this. <laughs> Imagine being able to make a video game that works. Cyanide would never. Yeah, it's, it's always the same, isn't it? They always get the guy you want to level. Scumbags. Scum, 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 scum. Can level this one now. Well, not level it. Get SPP on this one. Diced. Is this a dicing? Probably. I saw him roll a pow again. I mean, I know I've removed five players, but he rolled a pow again. <laughs> he, he rolled a pow, can you believe it? <laughs> Fucking hell, imagine people rolling pows against Amazons. Outrageous! I guess I should have gone on the sideline, you know, to make it a 5 plus dodging into a guard, but then what if it fails? Like, what if that dodge fails? This was, like, safe, wasn't it? No, oh, very safe. Really safe now. Now we get 
get in and make sure nothing nothing bad can happen. Liquid blood ball. <laughs> Do the surf first, eh? Choose! Times for Blood Bowl 3. Well, I own it thanks to Mr. Yemendan, so I guess it'll be, uh, you know, do some guides, play it a bit. Be disgusted. Quit. Play Battle Brothers. I don't know, we'll see. That was pretty lovely, wasn't it? I mean, I did dice him a tiny amount. <laughs> <laughs> Just a tiny bit of a dicing. Three cars, three kills. I have not played the finished version. No, no, no. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not special in any way. How are you? And in fact, I'll be getting it after most people because I, I, I think he just got me the normal version rather than the brutal edition. So I'll, uh, I'll actually get it on the 23rd or on the 21st. So, yeah. Sorry, team, and to do apologise. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of misery. I'm playing Blood Bowl. I oh, removed the mighty blood, didn't he? Fucking C nut. You'll probably be one of the lucky ones fouled yet again. Was a perfect hit to install them, wasn't it? Yeah. Again, I should have outboard the mighty blow there if I was being 100% competitive, but I think I'm going to win anyway. <laughs> what a dickhead. Back, classic. Oh, dirty Raxo. Nine, yeah, he's got nine, we've got ten, and you know what that means. Found myself a strat. Withdrawn offense is where it's at. Just one dodge and I can save my whole my, my whole team. <laughs> one more dodge and you can't hit anything. Daka daka. Pedro, it is a blitz, but we've defended against the blitz. An all time low. I'm not okay, no Pedro. Making you my lead scout cost me hundreds of dollars. <laughs> so I'm back to Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he's going for the foul.
The ad revenue off uh, fucks you if you like, if you it's based off your average viewers, right? And my average viewers for Battle Brothers is not a lot. So, my ad revenue offer was not a lot. To the point of streaming Battle Brothers is very expensive. Well, the thing about Five Idiots is it's just like, it's just a few hours, isn't it? It's just a few hours once a week. So, like, Five Idiots isn't going to be that impactful. But I just definitely can't, uh, I definitely can't stream. Oh, my God, this is the episode of Five. I just didn't even look. Literally didn't even look. Pointless GFI here. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to run all the way around there. That was terrible, terrible play. It's exactly the sort of thing I've criticised people for. It was absolutely stupid. I just did it. But I don't care. Is he a special guest? Glorious Faulty. Are you going to get him to record a video? That would be the best way of doing it because the whole setup is for is for five people. So, but uh, Dimmy is going to be a special guest. He's playing. Well, I don't know how I'm going to set that up. <laughs> but thank you very much, Faulty. Glorious. I mean, when you say we, I mean I. <laughs> Glorious faulty. Yeah, you think so? Pedro's lead scout would be a big draw, yeah. You watched it did my part. Thanks, Hamas. Yeah. That's the thing, you know, like obviously a few people watch the Battle Brothers, but it's like, you know, obviously it's not as in lost as in, you know, if you're streaming Blood Bowl you get more views, so you get more ad revenue. It's like it's the fact that they just offer you a less lump sum as well, so it, like they offered me less. Th Not only did I make less last month, obviously I made a lot less last month. Obviously I made a lot less last month because I'm choosing to stream Battle Brothers instead of Blood Bowl. But you know, that's fair enough, right? But then they also fucked me on the, how much they're offering me as a lump sum, so that makes it too costly, basically. Yeah, that's fair, team well, I might stream them on YouTube. I might stream the Battle Brothers on YouTube. And then, like, the VODs will go on already, won't they? And then people can skip ahead or whatever. Instantly. And I think you can still chat and stuff on a, on a YouTube stream, can't you? So, like, you know, people might... People might want to do that. You never know. Bit of a half dapper, isn't it? I'm letting my guys get blitzed. But it's also like a turtle, right? I'm not really trying to dacker, I'm just trying to turtle on Amazons and moving six. I don't really think I can score here. I'm just trying to hang on and get a 1 0 win. Yes, I mean, I would like to be able to do that, Pedro, but again, it's like, how, right? You know, again, if I, if I stream Minecraft, I'm getting, like, five viewers. To break through Minecraft, I think I need to make really good quality videos and, like, really good quality builds. And with me, it's going to have to be farms because that's, like, the clever part of it. And then I've got to like, so like, it's kind of hard it's got to learn how they all work, and then I've got to make them the best one, and then I've got to make a good video about it. So it's hard, it's going to be hard work. That's what's put me off the Minecraft, is the hard work side of it. Don't need a, don't need a time machine. There's a lot of views about Minecraft still. It is, but the thing is, they don't know, they don't know how old I am. 
<laughs> they are, yes, Pedro, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, that's all good. It doesn't, it doesn't demand my soul. I can easily, like, I can sack it off. Like, at the end of the day, I, you know, I can I can sack off Blood Bowl for, like, the problem, the, the thing is with, I could sack off Blood Bowl for Minecraft because Minecraft could go somewhere, right? But Battle Brothers isn't going isn't, isn't to go anywhere. Like, it's, no, it's, ju no, it's just not possible for Battle Brothers to go anywhere at all, ever, whatever happens. That's the thing with Battle Brothers. But I could make some like there's some there's some Battle Brothers guides that have got a bunch of views, so I could make some Battle Brothers guides. But um, yeah, but Minecraft still gets a hell of a lot of views. I know, um, presumably the more established streamers have already got a view viewers, so like it might be harder to uh, to get you know some viewers as a as a new. Minecraft YouTuber, but I I could do it. I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident. I could use the deep fakes. Have you seen the deep fake things? Have you seen the deep fake things people can do now? Oh my god, it was insane. Our art was steaming some content last night, and it was incredible. Deep face live. That's what it is. Oh my god, it's literally insane. People were streaming. And they were like, it was just, it was just unbelievable. You literally couldn't tell. You literally couldn't even tell that it, it wasn't their actual face. It was unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Fuck off, Hamas. <laughs> Fuck off, Hamas. <laughs> well, yes. The, honestly, it was amazing. There was this bloke and his girlfriend, and uh, she was like Mr. Bean. And she looked like exactly like Mr. Bean. It was unbelievable. And then, uh, and like he was, he looked pretty good as Keanu Reeves and Robert Downey Jr. But um, she was the best as like she was Mr. Bean and Jim Carrey. And she was like perfect as them too. And she, there was another one. Oh, who was this? Someone, Alexandra de Dario. She like she actually just looked like. A, no, it wasn't. It was a. Uh, it was Harley Quinn. Who, who's Harley Quinn? She just like looked like her. It was unbelievable. Like they, they both put on the same face, which was uh, which was Margot Robbie. They they both got the Margot Robbie face, and like he looked like he was playing with a deep fake thing, but she just looked like. It was her. It was unbelievable. Like if you didn't know that it wasn't, you would just think that was her. That was her face. She just looked a real human. It was. Pre it's pretty crazy. Running out of players here, aren't I? But he's not really putting any pressure on. So it's kind of okay just to dick around here. Virtual you. Yeah, I, I am players up, but I'm running out of players. <laughs> Shut up, Hammers.
No one likes a smart ass. See, I'm running out of players. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And I thought, how funny would it be? <laughs> with a deep fake thing. Imagine going on One World, One Blood Bowl with Angelina Jolie's face. <laughs> I thought that would be like the funniest thing ever. <laughs> again see look I've got no players left see Hammers I told you I was running out of players I do apologize foul boy I'm sorry I did promise misery try hard over the misery well that's helping good now see now I'm running out of players now I've only got nine Nine aside. Told you, Hammers. Diced again. Instant one in nine. No. Didn't lose this turn. Oh, one in nine the second touch. Amazing. Uh, amazing.
crazy Nick Kirk on. They can do it from like one picture. It's, it's insane. It really is insane. Pretend Dakar into bad turtles seemed a suboptimal strategy. But the problem is the fleshies are like too good, right? Fleshies are too good. Look at him, Chihuahua. Hello, five years. Jenny Fantastic's going to be the way, I tell you. Camera move nearly fucked me. Amazing. Didn't want in nine. Outrageous. That's a one dice, isn't it? Why did I think that was a two dice? <laughs> exactly, Kurgo, yeah. Do you reckon, Pedro? I don't. I think it's shit, man. Amazons are pretty shit on offense, honestly. Like, they've got no strength and no movement and no agility. It's a struggle. If your opponent, if your opponent dub skulls out, it's all right. I don't like rolling pals. I like to give people a chance. This isn't a screen. 
Boy, howdy. Well done, Jim. Yes, I decided to take this opportunity to show everybody a, uh, a very common mistake that terrible people make. But yeah, I just did this to teach Twitch chat. There you go. I mean, this is not surfable by a wolf. Oh, wait. At least he hasn't got a reroll. And can't lose. Hey. Oh. Oh, it's not surfable by a wolf. The best kind of BM is to give your opponent a little bit of hope, isn't it? It's the hope that gets you. You know, could have won this 2 0 easily. Squashed, squashed all hope that he had, and you know, made it a nice, easy two 0 loss. Oh god, I got diced by Zons, but just you know, by playing terribly and giving them that chance, those chances, several chances in the second half, it just you know, it just kept them in the game enough to keep them interested, and then really let them down when they lose. That really is the best. Maximum misery extracted from that one game. There you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.